Morning, this is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. For specific trading ideas for today, please give me a call on 781-380-8888. We hope everyone is safe and sound uh, as a result of Hurricane Irene. We know there are many power outages that affect us even here in Boston, and we hope everybody stays safe. The recent articles over the weekend about gold in a number of the national publications indicate the gold bubble has burst, indicating that the party's over, indicating that uh, gold really has no value other than fear, and gold ought to be trading at $600 an ounce. That's quite interesting um, because, in fact, gold is trading $1,821 this morning. Um, we might see a little bit of weakness down to 1808, 1810, something like that. But structurally, we feel that now is the time to accumulate. Indeed, Morgan Stanley, of all people, said that told its clients that people should be buying on the dips, which is identical to our advice. Now, remember, we also have specific trading strategies that we employ. So, you know, you always want to have 20, 25 percent or 30 or 40 percent uh, of your position stopped out so that if there is an adverse reaction, you're simply booking a profit and keeping your money uh, in the in the game uh, for the next surge upward. Uh, we think that surge upward is imminent. Uh, we think gold's going to cross $2,000 in the next three or four weeks. We thought this was going to take place into October, but uh, the, the, the metal is telling its own story. Uh, it doesn't need us to talk about it. But the fact is that gold is reflective of people's realization that the U.S. economy is in the toilet. This is a technical word, this toilet, okay? It means, the <laughs> it means that the U.S. economy is a mess and it's not going to get any better. And I'm not going to extend this bathroom analogy. So we want you to keep in mind the words of Goethe. Uh, when ideas fail, words come in handy. So some of the ideas that people have tried to use in fiscal and governmental policy have failed, okay? And so now there's a lot of blather and a lot of talk instead of new ideas being tried. I am hopeful that the president will try some new ideas. I'm also glad that people are starting to take a sharp look at how bad the mess is in the United States because denial is not just a river in Africa. It's a serious problem. And as a result of getting out of denial, we can take some steps, as it were, to get better economically. Lastly, if you're looking for yield, uh, which a lot of you are, uh, uh, we have spotted, you know, there are a number of bank stocks that have some preferreds with some guarantees on them that have really nice return. We're speaking specifically of Ally Bank's uh, preferred A, Ally Bank preferred A. It's an 8.5% uh, coupon. It's trading at 18. Uh, today is a slight discount, so the yield is 10.15 for those who make that purchase. So 8.5% coupon, uh, preferred with guarantees with a 10.15% yield. That's pretty good for in through here. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. And I hope that you have a safe day. Thanks.